switch foot my guys um i'm wearing this shirt uh, this legend phil collins in honor of you guys you guys are legends um when you guys came out uh the beautiful letdown i was living in nashville i was contemplating what to do with my life i had just moved from new york i was considering los angeles i was literally my head was spinning and I didn't know if I was going to be a solo artist or start a band. And there were really only a couple bands in that time period that had a massive impact on me and continued to long after I moved to LA and started One Republic. Um, that album uh, shifted me. Here I am on the fence and I was like, no, nah, man, I'm starting a band. These guys did it. Um, you, you, you were one of, those, one of those bands. Like we used to talk about you guys in rehearsal and be like, they did it, man. They did it. Uh, we decided to move to California. It seemed like it worked out for you guys, so we moved to California. The first concert I saw in Los Angeles, probably 2004, uh, was you guys. Uh, you played the Avalon. Sold out, and to me, it's like, I wouldn't have been more impressed if you played the Rose Bowl. It felt like the Rose Bowl to me, uh, and I was absolutely blown away by your live performance, the, the songs, how many people they touched. Also, I think the resonance that your lyrics and messages have and your music was a big impact to me as I was starting writing the first One Republic album and subsequent albums. I was looking for a model of bands that were able to sing about things uh, that expanded beyond boy meets girl, boy falls in love with girl, you know, the typical romantic top 40 tropes. And how can you have hits and connect with millions of people that say something meaningful that has gravity? And you guys were living that. You were personifying that when we were writing our first album and started touring. And, you know, from, uh, from our band to yours, the second we got the call about working on this uh, celebration of an album, it was instantaneous. Yes, let's do it. Let's go. I hope I did it justice. I hate trying to hang with your vocal tone. Um, you have that tone that I always wish I had. I always, I feel like, uh, I feel like, a, <laughs> I feel like I'm in like some boy band singing next to you. <laughs> but um, what I did is uh, I screamed for about 30 minutes before we started cutting vocals uh, and smoked a pack. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do any of that. But I tried to live up to the high bar that you set vocally. And it's an honor and a privilege. And I could keep talking about you guys forever. But um, we love you guys. Thanks for having us along for the journey. We hope we didn't hand you a beautiful letdown. That's a bad joke. Anyway. <laughs>